Hello friends! Welcome to STEAM K through 5th grade version. I'm Angelica, one of the librarians here at the Monona Public Library, and I'm so grateful that you can join us this morning. So, STEAM, what does that mean? That stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And today, we are going to investigate the science of circuits. Whoa. Using squishy circuits. What is that? Well, let's explore and see what is in your supply pack. If you didn't get a chance to pick one up, we still have many available in the library. But I would recommend giving us a call first before you head over to make sure that they're still here. What's awesome about our STEAM programs is that they are recorded and you could watch them later on YouTube and here on Facebook. So my friends, I am going to add our YouTube information to the comments so that you know where to go for fun STEAM programs. And what's so amazing is that our STEAM programs are using different types of supplies that you might just have around your house. And then you could do more science experiments at whenever, whenever it's convenient for you. All right, my friends. So we are grateful for Royalty Free Music from Ben Sound. And we are grateful for our, our teen volunteer and our youth service department that helped create, put all these kits together. Okay, just a couple friendly reminders. On Facebook Live, I cannot see you. You could see me, but I could only read what's in the comments. So if it's okay with your grown up, you can say hi in the comments so I know you're here. Or if you have questions and ideas you want to share. You can put them in the comments so I can see them. Well, let's get started. Let's pull out our pack. There's a lot of good things in here. So you have information about this kit. Now there's some very, very important things I want you to remember is that there is a battery pack and a battery pack, when you put batteries in it, you want to make sure to keep it off. You want to make sure that you keep it off until you are ready to use it. And when you are using it, you want to try not to have these two metal pieces touch. That will break the battery pack. Okay? And the other thing is the LED lights that are in the small pouch here, they're pokey. So you will have to be careful getting them out of the bag and while you are using them. Okay, so we have our instructions, we have a calendar, and we have our very, very important guide on how to create a circuit, which we will do together right now. Okay, so let's take out our battery pack. Let's take out our batteries. I'm just going to empty everything out here on my tray table. So I said battery pack. Make sure you have four batteries. One, two, three, four. And then you have two small containers of Play-Doh. We call this Play-Doh conductive and it's labeled. And I'll let you know what that means in just a little bit. And then you have a long piece of molding clay wrapped in saran wrap. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. There we go. And this is called non-conductive. It is insulative. And we'll get into the details of that in a little bit. We have our pouch of LED lights, which I'm going to open up and slowly pour them in my workspace. That way, they're easier to handle. I want you to notice something interesting about the LED lights. Can you see those little legs? Now, LED lights are very, very fragile. 
So if you pull on the legs too hard, it might break. And sometimes, even if you don't pull hard, it still breaks. Is that okay? Yes, we know that. So don't worry if a leg breaks off. But I want you to see that there's one leg that is long and one leg that is short. And that will be very important as we create our circuit. The other item in your bag is some type of noise maker. It could look like this or like this. Or you may have something completely different, like a fan. So everybody gets something different, and that's okay. So let's get started by taking our Play-Doh out of the cups. And I will tell you that this is probably the most difficult part of the program, is that seal. <laughs> so if you need help from a grown-up, now is a good time to ask. And it's very, very tough to get through that plastic. But we want to make sure that you are safe and you're using things that nobody has touched. So you are the first person to play with this Play-Doh. So there's my first one. Set that aside. And I had to use a pen to puncture the plastic. This one, this one was a little easier. Oh, let's see, I get that out. There we go. Here is our Play-Doh. And I want you to take your Play-Doh and try to make a ball with each one, okay? So give our friends some time to open up that Play-Doh. Here we go. Got a ball going here of pink. And I have purple, two different colors. Ooh, this one's much harder than that one. That's okay. All right, we're gonna make our Play-Doh balls. All right, here's, this is how mine looks. This, okay. So I'm just going to check our comments while you create your round balls of Play-Doh. Okay, let's see who's here. Hello, hello Luther and Gretchen, it's nice to see you. I'm glad you can make it to our second program here. All right. How is that going? Thumbs up? And they don't have to be perfect. If they are not a perfect round circle, that's still okay. All right. So I have them, and I'm going to put them right on top of my workspace. All righty. And now we need a battery pack. And this step two, you may want to ask a grown-up to open up the back and put the batteries in. When we are not playing with the battery pack, we have it off and no batteries inside. But now we're going to use it. So we put our batteries in. You take your time and make sure you're putting them in the right direction. So as you can see, there's little springs in there and it has a little picture on the bottom. It's hard to see, but it shows you in what direction to put the battery in. So the flat part of the battery goes onto the spring. Think of it like you're trying to maybe jump up off like a trampoline, right? You want your flat feet to be on the springy part. All right, one more. Again, flat against the spring. There we go. And now we close it up. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Awesome. So to check if my battery pack is working and if I put the batteries in correctly, I can move the switch to on. Do you see that little light? Right. But I don't need to use it right now, so I will turn it off. And the first step is to take these metal prongs. So if you notice, there is a wire that's red and there's a wire that's black. So put one of the metal terminals into 
one of your Play-Doh balls and then take the second one, the black one, and put it into your second Play-Doh. So now I have two balls connected to two different types of wires and my battery pack is turned off, okay? Now, if I look down at my Play-Doh, I notice that my two balls are not touching. They need to have a little space in between. And we are going to create a bridge using the LED light to help the electricity and the electrons from the battery pack go through the wire, over into the light, and then back home again to the battery pack. It is absolutely amazing. That is a circuit. A circuit is a circle of energy or electricity or electrons. Can you do that with your finger? A nice big round circle. It begins in one spot, goes somewhere else, and back to where it started. I like to call it the home spot, and that is the battery pack. Awesome. Here we have one of the LED lights. And remember, one side or one leg is longer than the other. So you want to put the long leg into the Play-Doh that is attached to the red wire. So I'll give you a moment so that you can do that. And this part, I always have to stretch the legs out a little bit. Again, if one of the legs pops off, it's okay. So the long leg is in the Play-Doh that is connected to the red wire. And then I'm going to put the other leg into the ball that's connected to the black wire but I'm noticing something happening. I see that my space between the two balls is not very big. And remember, when we started, I said we wanna keep a space in between. So as long as there is, as long as there's a space, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, are you ready to see if we created our, our circuit? Let's turn it on. <gasps> Look at that! Can you see what's happening? And we all have different lights. Some will blink, some will be just one color, but this one is blinking. And I chose that so that you could see it in the video really well, because sometimes it's hard to see the colors over um, Facebook Live. So what is happening here? Let's explore this. We have battery power, electricity, that is leaving the battery pack. Do you know which way it's going first? Down the red wire or the black wire? What do you think? Hmm. It has to go one way, remember, a circle. All right, so what happens We'll see if you guessed if you guessed correctly. It goes out the black, which is also known as the negative wire. It goes into the purple ball. And then because we created this space, the light bulb is acting like a bridge. We're forcing the energy to go into the light. And that's how it lights up. And it goes through the pink Play-Doh to the red wire all the way back home. Can you see the circle that we created? Now, is it a perfect round circle? No, but it does start right from the battery pack, leaves down the black wire, over into the light, and back down the red home to the battery pack. That is pretty cool. You created an electrical circuit. 
but wait, there are more things that we can do. Now, I kept saying, we need to keep that space. We need to keep that space in between the Play-Doh. Well, why? What would happen if, oh, oh, my light's going out. So if I have a space, my light works. But if I don't have a space, it doesn't work. Do you have any ideas why? Hmm. <gasps> You're right. Well, electricity in a circuit needs to start somewhere and then end in the same spot. Do you think it's easier for the electricity to go through the two balls? That's right. No longer does the electricity have to go up the bridge. So you always want to think of a circuit as starting, going out, and then coming back home. And it's going to go the easiest way possible. Because if we have a space, we are really, really, really making it difficult to go from one part of the Play-Doh to the other. That's right. So what else can we do here? Hmm. The space is important. And this is where our clay comes in. So our Play-Doh is called conductive. Can you say that? Conductive. And that means it lets the electrical circuit go through it. But there are some things like modeling clay that are non-conductive. What do you think will happen if we use this? Non-conductive, also known as insulative, is going to act like a space. So let's see what happens. I'm going to turn off my battery pack and I'm going to take out my light bulb and I'll take a little piece of the modeling clay Modeling clay is, is pretty hard compared to the Play-Doh. I don't need much, just a little bit. Okay. And I am going to put it in between the two walls. Do I have a space? I do. It's not an empty space. It's a space filled with non-conductive uh, modeling clay. So. Let's see if we can get our light bulb to light up this way, where everything is smushed together, but yet there still is a space. Here we go. Do you think it'll work? Yes! The modeling clay is forcing again that electricity to go into the light bulb so that it could get back home to the battery pack. That is amazing. You have been creating circuits. And now let's see what these other tools are that we have. I mentioned that you may have something that makes a sound. So let's see if we can make this work. I see again, I see red wire and a black wire. Hmm circuit, the energy travels a certain way and it goes out the black and into the red. So I think you have to put the black into the purple and the red into the pink. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. Let's see what happens. Did you hear that? It worked. What's happening? We created another circle of energy or electricity. And this time it is going from the battery pack through the purple Play-Doh up to the buzzer. And instead of lighting it up, it makes a sound down the red wire back home to the battery pack. So you may have this type of buzzer or you may have this type of buzzer. All right, let's see what kind of sound this one makes making sure that my battery pack is off as I put in the various tools that I have. Okay, black and black 
red and red back home. Ready? And I turned it off. Turn it on. So cool. And then some of you in your kit may have a fan. And again, we are learning black to black so it could keep traveling round and round like a circle. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, <gasps> there it goes. <gasps> Do you see that? The power, the electricity is traveling from the battery pack to the fan and then back home, round and round and round, it keeps going until I turn it off. All right, so I'm curious if I put in more than one light bulb, do you think that it will still light up? Hmm, so I have my long leg, my short leg, and I'm going to put one leg into one ball of Play-Doh and then the other one and the other one, and let's turn it on. It is working. <gasps> I'm going to try something even more exciting. I'm going to put my sound piece in with the light bulbs to see if I can get the sound and lights to turn on. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> That is super. So what's wonderful with the supplies that you have is you can ask questions and experiment. Can I light up five light bulbs? Can I light up a noisemaker and five lights? Hmm. I can't wait to hear or see what you create. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't see you on Facebook Live. But if you, with your grown-ups permission, would like to email me, you can email me at youth at Monona Library, and I'm putting that in the comments right now. And you can send me a picture of your creation. I love to see what you create. And as you have your supplies here, I'm also going to add that you can go to the Squishy Circuit website they have some cool ideas on what you can make. So I'm going to put that in the comments as well. And if you love science and creating, we have so many awesome books that you can check out and you can place them on hold from our online website. And I'll put that in the comments as well. And that will be one way that you can explore some more science. There we go. All right, my friends. So I hope you had a lot of fun creating a circuit. And now that I'm finished and whenever you're finished, you'll have to make sure to clean up. And when we clean up, we want to be very careful again with our light bulbs because they are pokey and you will put them back into the little baggie. So I have five. Even if you have one that breaks, you could put the broken one back in the baggie. There we go. And then I have my extra fan or noisemaker, and I'm going to put that back into my original pack. And then I have my Play-Doh and I don't need this Play-Doh or the modeling clay back. You can keep it because you have touched it and played with it. So now you can hold on to it as well as the dough. And not, I'm sorry, not the dough, the uh, modeling clay. And the most important thing when you're finished, this is super, super, super important. Make sure that your squishy circuit battery pack is off and that you take out the batteries so that I'm finished for today. So I'm going to open this back up and take out the batteries. And if I want to try again later, I will have to put the batteries back in, close it up, and then I can do my experiments. So I'll put everything back into 
the bag. There we go. Except for the Play-Doh and the modeling clay. And when you are finished playing and trying different ways to make circuits go, you'll have to return the battery pack and the fan or the noise maker to the library. So you can do that by coming into the library and dropping it off at the main circulation desk, or you can drop it off with curbside pickup. Just give us a call and we'll have somebody come out and grab this from you. So the only things we need back is the battery pack and the extra noise maker or um, fan. And then it would be nice to get the batteries back as well. So I hope you have fun exploring and learning more about the concepts of circuits by, by checking out books or going to the Squishy Circuit website and see what they have created there so that you can try that too. All right, my friends, it was so wonderful to see you today. Thank you, and I hope you could join us next month for a whole new STEAM program. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends.